No, I'm not joking. They made a Rudolph game for the Wii. I think everyone's familiar with the tale of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the timelessly classic story of a reindeer with a glowing red nose who's relentlessly bullied and ostracized by society for his birth defect. But then one magical day, everyone realizes that there's commercial gain to be had from exploiting Rudolph's mutation, and then suddenly everyone's nice to Rudolph because there's profit in doing so. I was always more fond of Frosty the Snowman, a being as given sentience against his will only to live a hellish existence of his body slowly dissolving and unable to experience the warmth of human contact. You know, maybe Die Hard is more of a Christmas movie than I give it credit for. Anyway, somehow there's a video game based on the Rudolph TV special on the Wii of all consoles. The special long predates the Atari, so how did it take this long to make a Rudolph game? Either it took them three decades to finally get it right, or it's a shovelware game cashing in on a cheap license. Given that it's on the Wii, odds are good for the latter. I know it's after Christmas, but a man can only get his clock cleaned in Jedi Fallen Order so many times before he needs a break. So let's check out Rudolph. While they don't actually play the Rudolph song, that would cost money, but at least this video won't get copyright claimed. Oh cool, five playable characters. Rudolph, Clarice, Hermie the Elf, Santa, that's odd, and Yukon the Prospector. The fact they're all 2D cutouts is concerning. We'll do Rudolph, obviously. Welcome to Christmas Town, also known as the North Pole. What? Haven't you heard of a talking snowman before? The game opens with the snowman who hosted TV special, Sam the Snowman, telling you that Santa needs help decorating his Christmas tree and filling his bag of toys. And Rudolph gets drafted to help with this... why? Doesn't Rudolph have more pressing matters to attend to? The first level, you're in a living room. An elf throws ornaments, lights, and presents at you, and you have to sort them into a Christmas tree or to Santa's sack. Because this is what you think of when you think Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You move left and right by tilting the remote and jump into the items to bounce them. The controls work perfectly fine, surprisingly, but it's freaking annoying jumping into them just right to knock them to either side. If you're slightly off, the object starts moving in the wrong direction, and your movement is so restricted that you can't really knock it back on course. This is why you don't draft reindeer to sort presents. Get someone with hands to do it. Or just play as Santa and make him decorate his own freaking tree. I don't see any score cap that you need to clear or indicator of how well you're doing, but I guess I do well enough at this stage and I beat it. Next, Mr. Snowman tells you that the elves need help getting some last minute presents ready. Now you're in a factory setting and you shake the Wii Remote vertically to lob hunks of paint at toys. There's no aiming at the toys and there's no timing required to hit them. After they're on the screen for a few seconds, they just glow red, and as long as you shake the remote at any point in the next full minute that the toy is on screen, it gets painted automatically. One remote motion, and it's done for you. This is barely even a game! This is an Are You Still Breathing test! I know this is a game for kids, but come on! Something about the way you just throw a glob of paint at a toy and it comes out perfectly colored kind of cracks me up. If the elves had paintball guns, this job would be much easier and way more fun. Next, the snowman has you help the elves bake cookies. Doesn't Santa get his fill of cookies from all the kids who set them out on Christmas Eve? What does the fat man need more cookies for? A little gif pops up telling you to move the remote a certain way. Forward and backward to roll dough, up and down to cut cookies, swipe to the side to put them in the oven, and shake it to apply sprinkles. So not only are we making superfluous cookies, we're making lousy ones that have no chocolate chips or icing in them. This ain't exactly cooking mama. There is absolutely no timing or way to fail any of these actions, and each action takes so long to perform that you spend more of the game waiting for the animations to finish than you do actually playing anything. You have enough time to make four batches of cookies, and that's it. And even before a single round is over, you find the laziest way possible to do each step and just kind of listlessly wiggle the remote around. Finally, it's the main event. Level 4, Santa's making his trip to deliver presents, and you play as some no-name anonymous elf who rides in the back of the sleigh delivering toys. You shake the remote vertically to drop presents onto the houses, and you get bonus points if they go in the chimney. So either your presents get stuck on the roof and good luck getting them down, or they drop down a possibly lit chimney and burst into flames. No toys for you, douchebag! It's such a pain trying to figure out the arc the toys take, and there's no penalty for missing. I just waggle the remote non-stop, dropping a constant stream of presents onto the ground. About three quarters of them hit their targets, and that's it. Then the snowman tells you that you've saved Christmas, and the game's over. You and all your fine work, Christmas has been saved! No, seriously, that's the end. You get four lousy minigames, 
and it's over. No scenes from the special are reenacted. They don't do jack to tell Rudolph's story, or any story for that matter, and the big climax of both the song and the special, Rudolph guiding the sleigh on a rough stormy night, you'd think they'd make a flying stage of some kind, but no, you play as a dope throwing presents over boy while Rudolph is off to the side. Poor guy isn't even the star of his own game. I don't even think Rudolph gets any voiced lines. How sad is that? I never thought we'd see this day, but after seven years of YouTubing, I've found a full console release game that's even shorter than Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. That was a Nintendo 64 game that took a piddly 33 minutes and 53 seconds to play through. The new record? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer lasted 11 minutes and 20 seconds! That's it! A full console release game printed on actual discs that's 12 minutes long! Most of the videos on my channel are longer than that! This has got to be one of the laziest video games in history! A Wii game that's just four lousy minigames! And really, only one of the minigames has any actual gameplay, the first one bouncing presents around, two are just shaking the remote vertically, and the cookie game you spend more time staring at the screen than interacting with it, you make a game based on one of the most beloved Christmas specials of all time, and this is the best you can come up with? The Grinch got a handheld Metal Gear Solid game and Rudolph gets this? There were plenty of shovelware collections of minigames on the Wii, but four stinking games? Even Space Camp had more than that before it devolved into four hours of grind picking up rocks. And the sad thing about it is the game's productions and technicals aren't all that bad. The graphics look cheap, but they're somewhat visually appealing and they resemble the movie. The voice acting is no great shakes, but it approaches being passable. The motion controls work, that's better than Minute to Win It can claim, so is it better to have a nigh unplayable game with actual content? or a drastically shorter game that actually works right? These are the questions one ends up asking when comparing turds. There doesn't seem to be any difference between the playable characters, as if there was enough gameplay for you to tell a difference, but there is one caveat. Never, ever play as Hermie the Elf. If you're playing as Hermie, about every time you score a point, he yells in a shrill, screeching voice, Every freaking few seconds if you're playing as Hermie! I'm a dentist! 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 Fine! Be a dentist! Just shut up about it! When I'm playing Super Smash Brothers, every time I get a kill, I don't shout, I'm an engineer! Rudolph and Clarice keep their mouths shut when playing, and Santa and Yukon just let out giggles or mild platitudes. I don't know what possessed them to do this! Although the game does have a two-player mode. Maybe Hermie yaps so that you can annoy the friend you suckered into playing with you. And given that there's no score requirement listed anywhere in the story mode's minigames, I opted to test just how lazy the game really is. I played the story mode a second time, and I set my controller down, went out of my way not to score a single point in any of the minigames. Do you know what happens if you finish every minigame with a score of zero, literally doing nothing right? Great job, Sunnyzilla! The game congratulates you for winning, and advances anyway. Apart from needing to select a character between each round, you can win the game without touching the controller. It's like they made a game for the brain dead. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on the Wii is just another slapdash collection of minigames pushed out to make a quick buck on a recognizable name with next to no effort, creativity, or originality put into it. The best you can say about the game is that it's not buggy, but only because there's not enough game here for them to have screwed anything up. This one embarrassed Steam for crying out loud. Unless this game was secretly developed by Santa to give out to naughty children because coal is too expensive, I can't think of a single reason for this to exist. But regardless of this holiday-themed mess of an exploitation, happy holidays, and sincerely, a happy new year.